The Arab American National Museum is a powerful reclamation of our narrative. Nowhere else is there a cultural institution documenting, preserving, and presenting the history, culture, and contributions of Arab Americans. The museum opened in 2005. It was the first and remains the uh, only museum of its kind in the United States. Uh, the museum uh, was established to tell the Arab American story, to have um, authentic uh, narratives about the Arab American experience uh, made through the voices and the words of Arab Americans themselves. We're located in Dearborn, Michigan, amid one of the largest concentrations of Arab Americans in the United States. The museum includes 18,000 square feet of exhibit space, highlighting the rich and diverse history of Arabs coming to and living in America. So the museum's exhibits uh, really explain the full story of the Arab American experience. So we focus on folks being able to understand the community in terms of where we came from, the different countries that we connect with culturally, linguistically, and whatnot. Um, we also focus on the story of Arab immigration to the United States. Um, a lot of folks don't realize that Arab uh, immigrants have come uh, for, to the United States for about 150 years or so. Um, we also talk about Arab American culture and the cultural connections that we have that are uniquely Arab American, but also kind of fit into the larger fabric of, of American life. So it's really, the exhibits tell a, you know, a full story of who we are as Arab Americans. Uh, the public programs are an essential part of the work that we do. Uh, we are very much arts presenters in that we um, see ourselves as a platform for artists, whether they're Arab American or artists from different backgrounds whose work aligns with, with uh, the mission of the museum. The Nissan Foundation helps to fund a lot of our, our public programs, specifically those that are arts-based. Um, the film series, for instance, is one that the Nissan Foundation funds. Without the support of, of organizations or foundations like the Nissan Foundation, we can't do the work that we do, which is essential. And I really see that um, presenting uh, films and public programs is as essential as preserving the artifacts that we have here in the exhibit. So we get a lot of people that come with preconceived notions about who we are as the Arab American community uh, and then after they come through the tour there's a lot of aha moments. There's a lot of like ah okay that explains why I thought this way or oh okay now it makes sense why the community might do this or dress like this or whatever the case is. And so our goal really is to show the vast diversity amongst the community. And so if you really want high quality, engaging, uh, knowledge filled experience to learn about the Arab American community, to learn about your neighbors, or if you're Arab American yourself and want to get to know yourself better, your culture, your history, coming to the Arab American National Museum is one of the best ways to do that. The Arab American National Museum has been a Nissan Foundation grantee for the past four years. Its mission aligns so well with our own mission to build community by valuing cultural diversity. We are proud to support the museum as it continues to evolve its unique and important programming around the Arab American experience.